Okay, so what's going on? Welcome back to got the first video I've done in literally months, about five months, I think it's been uh, since anything's actually happened with blocks. Uh, so we finally today got blocks version 2.0.0. It's been coming for a while now. Uh, and I will say I did help beta test this, and you can go into actually. Uh, I'll show you in a bit, a bit later actually on that front, and you can see like my little name and things. It's cool. Anyway, uh, moving on. So you see on the right hand side here, uh, we got a completely redesigned menu for blocks. You've got all of these things here. You've got the docs, which if you open documentation, it will load into a cool little thing actually in the app, which allows you to do all of these cool things and have a look. If you don't understand how to use the app, you should do now. Uh, basically all this is, is a web view uh, inside of blocks which is yeah which is alright which is pretty good I guess uh, you've got like HTML widgets and all this and teach you how to use it uh, so yeah so that's pretty cool as well so we can get rid of that get off here and you see you get back to this menu you can sign up go to straight to the Twitter the community which just goes to the blocks uh, forum page and then you can open up um, old products as well uh, you can use all the old products that used with blocks uh, one point all the other ones, all the one point versions, you can use them with this as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, so literally, this is an old site that I created with the old version of Blocks. If I click on, click on it, completely converts over to the new format. Looks absolutely brilliant. Uh, you can see, I've got all my pages on the right here. Got my, see how many pages I've got here. How quickly they load up, how well they load up, and all that. So that's always pretty cool. Oh. And then you can also, which of course most people want to do, is they want to start a new product which completely opens the new tab. Um, you can go on preferences as well now, you can also make the menu bar on the left, like it used to be if you wanted to be. I'm not sure why that's not working for me now anyway. Um, I'm sure if I restart it, it will, probably because I've opened up a few things. Uh, yeah, and we've also got, of course, nobody forget the new icon, very, very nice. I much prefer it than the old one. Uh, here we go. And then you can make it on the left. There you go on the left. We can make it on the right. Uh, yeah, which is also pretty cool. Uh, gonna blur that out. Uh, and then yeah, so you can manage your fonts as well now, and you can add in any fonts you want, any Google fonts. Instead of being limited by the ones you had before. So I'll make a separate video on how to add these. So uh, don't worry about it. Just remember to click save changes. Uh, Yep, so you need to restart blocks for that. Uh, and also, we're now able to design customly for the new format of blocks. Now, I'm going to open up a piece of schoolwork that I did. Uh, if I can find it, uh, let me see if I can just find it. I think it might be this one. It is this one. Uh, I built this with the beta version of 1. Point, uh, blocks 2.0 that I built with. I built with um, thingy and which I built with the beta versions which um, was really cool it was really fun to beta test uh, really cool um, so as you can see we've got grayed out areas now some of you may be wondering what on earth does that mean uh, now basically this means if we go on to these blocks here you should see that they are see this one is grayed out for mobile when these two are grayed out for desktop and tablet and this one will only appear on the mobile uh, we don't really want this appearing on the uh, on the desktop site. Same with these things, with these paragraphs down here. They're wide and they look better than these ones on uh, mobile do. Same with the form as well. We want it really wide instead of really short on a desktop like this one. See, it's only on the desktop this form, and this form showed on um, tablet and mobile. So to demonstrate, so we go on here. You can see these ones are shut off, and if we go on to here as well, we can see that one. This menu will be shown here. Everything else looks absolutely really, really good. And uh, yeah, seems to be working pretty well. We've also got a new redesigned menu bar at the bottom uh, where you can quickly come up and you can search for all the same things. The only new different thing we've got really on the menu bar is a HTML brick, which uh, I believe looks like looks like this because we don't need an iPhone brick anymore. We've, uh, we've automatically got them all and we've got a little watch thing now I'll demonstrate what these two do um, I'll create a new site I uh, don't really want to close this and create a new site here as you can see if I add a new watch thing to here 
try and just uh, new watch thing there. And I'll add a new HTML button here. Uh, if you see here, we can add on can select a new watch. So we've got a custom load of custom devices. Um, we've got uh, all the way 5 and 5s and 5cs. Uh, we can have all the different colors there. They're pretty cool. Kind of a white one. I still have one of these. Very very cool phone. And then you can select the actual image that goes inside it, which is also very awesome. We uh, see if you use one of the defaults, it can be quite. It's very blurry because it stretches it to fit. Uh, so yeah, but if you've got a screenshot actually taken from the phone, dump it in there. Like that actually looks pretty good. Um, still a bit stretched, but it looks looks alright. Uh, so that's always pretty good. Or you can of course have it on the watch, Apple Watch. Oh, very nice. Look too bad actually. Uh, they look very very nice. You can all add the animations to that. We've then got custom HTML here, and it opens up our custom HTML editor. Um, would only recommend this if you're an advanced user, but basically what it does is if we open it up, we can actually now embed YouTube videos a lot easier than we were able to before. So if I just pick a random video, we'll go for this. We'll go for one of we'll go for one of my videos. Uh, let's go for go for my last video. When was this uploaded? Oh, January. Not too bad. About four months ago. Um, they've gone share, embed, copy this code, and just dump it in. Get rid of custom HTML here. Command V, and you can see instantly pops in the video for us, and which is really much easier than the old iframe tag, which. Which worked pretty well, I will admit, but of course you can, you can change the size, you can create the height, you can change it to 300, 500, kind of any size you want, uh, just dump it dynamically in the HTML too, which is really, really cool. Uh, I will be using this a lot in some of the videos, you'll see I'll be adding a little, little, little bit of code that do cool little things, and uh, yeah. Very, very cool. You can expand this as well. See, it's just on one light at the moment. I just love this code editor. Very, very nice. You can even uh, create a full screen if you want to, if you're desperate with the coding and you like coding on a full screen. You can do that as well. That's pretty cool. Then when you're done, just click done. And of course, this now, this then, it plays it within its widget and you can just simply add things around it. Uh, you can also add a video background much easier than you were able to before. So now, we can just click right click on the thing and video background uh, which is also very very cool uh, if I go on to this and do video background like this you see we can have two different video backgrounds and if I command V this in the browser you'll see you've got two different video oh god that looks weird um, and then we can also play the video as well that looks pretty cool see I've got my video playing in the background here uh, showing the iframe does work and then we've got the little thing here uh, very very cool um, so these are just a few things scraping the surface just thought I'd make a video saying hi well bam back basically blocks 2.0 is out and uh, as you can see if you go on about blocks you can see special thanks to uh, these people then Scott back it's blocks guy very very cool uh, yeah very very cool stuff really uh, my name's actually in the app now which is epic uh, can't wait. It's really cool having the name in the app pretty much. Uh, all these are pretty much the same. Contact customer support. But actually has a contact form now. We can have sub feature requests, support. Put in the things and it says send, we'll send it directly off instead of having to go onto the forum, create a post. Took a long time, maybe discouraged users to actually post the bugs, which which means that things didn't get fixed for people, which is a disadvantage for everyone really. Um, got new, oh god there's loads, we've got new page settings that can add got new things here we can add code to the head and body look at that head head and body section head of file attachments as well if you want to attach any uh, js sheets and all that stuff uh we can got the undo system we can import assets check for the updates as well see currently it's only 2.0 but we'll probably see a few versions in the coming weeks where things have been changed and things also got more advanced we've also got advanced uh also got advanced animation types, so you can have an animation start when you hover over something. So bounce uh, when you hover over something. So if we show that in browser now, it's gonna look weird. So it's the same, and then hover over it, and it'll bounce. Pretty cool. I do like the animation if you have a button or something. I think that looks really really cool. And then you can hover out, back on, back on. There's cool things you can. There's loads more animations as well that you can play around with. Uh, just load of things. Just literally the best way I can describe this is play. Uh, currently, if you buy 
blocks you buy it within the next few days uh, if we go to the bottom here you can get it for seventy dollars uh, which equates to about 45 British pounds instead of eighty dollars which is about fifty five pounds so you get about you might get ten dollars off which is about seven pounds within the UK if you have blocks 1.0 which I assume most of you do uh, that subscribe to me it's only twenty nine dollars which is about eighteen pound um, of course you can buy the team edition as well what is the team edition let's have a looky look I literally don't and I think the team edition if you want to buy four for four people uh, yeah I think it is uh, anyway go like store I can see blocks 2.0 is actually here now you can still buy the old version if for some reason you preferred the old version to the original um, not sure how long that's going to be there but anyway we still have to, uh, so this site's actually been built well this has been built by the developers of blocks and uh, yeah built with new blocks 2.0 very very cool very very nice uh, oh, I forgot to mention the class edge as well I'll explain that or everything in a lot more detail so uh, yeah I'll see you guys in another video Thank you for watching and bye-bye. Uh,